but we should first add the property body. And then from here, we can add a widget, which is a text widget. Now, what are you going to select? Select a widget that has a parenthesis. Here, inside the data, we can change that, for example, first flutter project then control s so we have here first flutter project but what if i want to add a button we remove the text widget and we add a button elevated button select the widget that has parentheses select this one now this elevated button has a property of on press and a child now child is a property of elevated button widget which means we can add an one widget under this elevated button widget but if the property is children we can add one or more widgets under it so in this case elevated button only has a child with property that means we can add here one widget so if you don't want to do anything you can do this okay in the child widget let's add here an icon widget or a text widget then single code the text that we are going to display log in save it and there you have it a button with a text login since we place this in our on press property that means whenever we click the button it does nothing but what if we want to go to another page? So let's create another page. Let's right click the pages folder, new file. Let's say home underscore page dot dart. And in here, the same. Let's copy this one, paste it here, and type st. Let's say our home page is a stateful or stateless widget. Now, stateful widget or stateless widget. If you want to see the changes on your screen, like for example, a counter of a number. If you press the button, the number increments. So you are going to display the changes that on the screen. We use the stateful widget because we are going to use the set state. And set state is only available if you use the stateful widget. Stateless widget, it doesn't show you the changes of, of a text on the screen because there's no set state for that. So here we are going to use, for example, a stateless widget. Then we're going to name this home Pascal casing for class page. Here, this changes the scaffold. Now let's go back to our login screen. Here, inside the curly brackets, we are going to type here navigator, this one, dot push, this one. Context, we change the root to material page root builder and we change the builder to context. Now we select this one or this one, but I prefer to choose this one. Then we can type here the name of this class. Whenever you place the class, it has parentheses. 
then place here semicolon it is red because we are going to define the type which means we are calling this class from another dart file that means we have to do import so one way you can do that is to click quick fix you hover your mouse here and then you click quick fix then we select this one or this one i will select the second one now the red line disappears then we save our file also here because there's a circle we go here and then we click Control s on our keyboard so from the login screen or from the main.dart, we call the login screen class. And in the login screen class, when we click the elevated button, we go to the home page class. Let's click the button here. Now we are inside our home page. Now if you want to change some things in your home page, we can put here buddy and let's say text widget and let's display this is the home page we save this we click again the button and we have here this is the home page now if you want to display the home page on the center as you can see here the yellow bulb i call it yellow bulb it has show code actions. When we click this one, it has here options. Let's click text and click again. You have to click the widget and then click this uh, code action. And then we select wrapped with center. As you can see, the text widget has been wrapped with a center widget. Now, a center widget has a property of child, which means it can only accept one widget. Now let's save this. Click again the button. Now the text widget is displayed on the center. Now if you don't want to, di to display this on the center, you wanna undo what you've done we click again the center widget here click this again and you select remove this widget and then save it again click here it goes back to the top left now a text widget also has different properties and we can also have a style like increasing the size of the text and its color. How are we going to do that? Inside this parenthesis, we type comma and then style. Property style accepts a text style widget. Now inside the text style widget, if you hover here, we can see here the properties we got we can use. So we're going to um, select the font size here and let's say 20, comma, color, this property, and then the color widget, which is color red. You don't have to type colors dot red that will show the choices what i advise you to do is you directly type colors do not add space type directly the color you want red so it's here then select this one Control s then click the login and we have here this is the home page Okay, 
let's put our text widget on the center. Control save. And now we have here on the center of our screen. So that's it for this video. Check out my other videos for more updates. Bye for now.